All right. <clears throat> it is time for the gringo borracho <laughs> to find his way back to his hotel room again here in Bacalar, Mexico. It is a Tuesday night, February 7th, 2023. Oh yes, before I forget, Cope. Senor Cope. Hola, Cope. Cope. Donde? Cope. Where is the perro Cope? Right, I'm supposed to say hello to Senor Cope. Oh, man. Another drunk night. It is a Tuesday night, February 7th, 2023. And uh, <laughs> I am sitting here missing my dog. Missing my little dog. In Bacalar, Mexico. And everybody down here with their little perritos. Missing my little Sancho Panza. So we will see if Sancho Panza and I make it to uh, Bacalar, Mexico next year. It fucking God. So here is my, I'm stumbling around the fort right now. I'm a big fort. I, I don't really understand this fort. I, I'm not, it's not quite clear to me who built the fort when they built the fort, why they built the fort. Oh, fuck. Oh, and I'm back at the Bacalar sign. Uh, stumbling around in the dark. Oh, fuck. So here is the problem. Here is the gringo borracho conundrum is... Uh, You know, I stopped drinking for six and a half years. I stopped drinking, and then in, uh, I guess it was 2001, after six years of no drinking, I decided that uh, I would start drinking again. And that I would... Uh, that I would, that my maximum alcohol was going to be two margaritas per day. But my definition of two margaritas is two shots of tequila. I put, well, I put one shot of tequila and one half shot of, you know, triple sec or whatever orange liqueur is on hand. So, at most, I have one and a half shots per drink. So, depending on how you draw your lines, so every night I drink two shots of tequila, two shots of tequila, and one shot of orange liqueur uh, every night. So I, it's two margaritas in my definition. So I come down here to Bacalar Mexico, and here's the problem, is that each margarita has like fucking good, fucking God, guys. Uh, and they mix tequila with mezcal. So each margarita probably has fucking twice as much tequila as more than twice as much liquor as one of my margaritas has. So I drink one margarita down here and I have at least the alcohol that I have in my two margaritas. But here's the rub. That would be fine, so obviously, well okay then, if it's got twice the alcohol in one margarita, drink one fucking margarita and call it a night. But the problem here is that all the bars make it two for one margaritas. 
So whether you drink one or two of the motherfuckers, you're getting the same amount of alcohol. Uh, I didn't know, that's not quite right. Whether you drink one or two of the margaritas, you're paying the same price. So this is where it really gets complicado for the for the gringo cheapskate. So I could, whether I drink one or two margaritas, it's the same fucking price. It's ten dollars. So I pay ten dollars for one fucking margarita, and I get probably more alcohol than I have in one margarita that I make. But then if I walk away after one, then I've paid $10 for a margarita. So I've got another margarita with the same amount of alcohol as the first fucking margarita. So since I'm too fucking cheap to walk away from essentially a free margarita, uh, I drink the second margarita. So now I've had two to three times as much alcohol as I would be making at home in my own fucking house. And I'm completely fucking shit faced. Uh, so I am grossly violating my. Uh, <laughs> You know, for the past 20 fucking years, I've never had more than two shots of tequila every night. And so now every fucking night in Bacalar, Mexico, I get fucking ripped like I used to do, which is the reason I stopped drinking, because I'm not supposed to be getting this fucking drunk every night. And uh, of course, the reason they make these two-for-one margaritas is because they assume that the tourists down here are, uh, that the tourists down here are probably a, a male-female couple. That is a man and a woman arriving. They get the two-for-one margarita. So the man has one margarita and the woman has one margarita. Or there's a lot of gay energy, but you know what I'm saying, even if it's just two heterosexual men traveling together, uh, that you go in there and you get the two for one, which implies two people drinking one margarita. But uh, unfortunately, the the heterosexual male I am traveling with does not drink margaritas. He is in Mexico and does not drink margaritas. So he's not going to drink the other fucking margarita and split the price with me. So since my heterosexual male buddy is not going to drink a margarita, and I sure as fuck don't have a female to drink the other margarita, what do I do is I end up drinking both the fucking margaritas and end up getting completely fucking sideways drunk uh, off of two margaritas. Which, you know, normally I have two margaritas in uh, the U.S., but by, you know, we're getting back to where this all started. So now, I'm walking around every night in Bacalar, Mexico, drunk off my fucking ass because I have nobody to drink the other margarita. Uh, my travel buddy, he won't drink the fucking margarita. If I fucking gave it to him, he wouldn't drink it. So, uh... This is my conundrum. I'm not gonna fucking walk away from a margarita that I've already paid for, but I have nobody to drink the second margarita. So uh, anyway, I've got two more nights after the night to deal with this conundrum 
so you know once again tonight I am the only uh, you know I'm looking around <clears throat> I am the only person that I can see that is sitting here alone in Bacalar, Mexico. There's either it's mostly male female couples. Uh, you, you know, it's mostly male female couples. Although there seems to be a lot of gay energy in this town, so uh, apparently the uh, this is an all-inclusive town. So there's either heterosexual couples or there's. Uh, gay couples or there's just friends traveling together or there's packs of people but uh so even though i'm traveling with another heterosexual male he doesn't want the fucking margaritas so he and i part company so i find myself alone i i am like the only person i am looking at probably I am probably looking at 300 people and no, here is one more gringo. I see there is another gringo who is alone and uh, virtually everybody else is fucking paired up with another person, be it their lover, be it their friend, be it their group of friends. So, uh, you know, this is the goddamn problem with, uh, you, you know, traveling alone in Latin America. It's where I, it's just all going back, you know, to all through the seven fucking years that I spent down here uh, traveling alone, you know, with my, with my fucking dick in my hand and my thumb up my ass. That uh, it used to be that at least I could pair up with a heterosexual female, uh, whether it be one night or five months that I would come down here and uh, pair up with a heterosexual female and I would not have to deal with the fucking pain and agony of uh, uh, of traveling alone in Latin America without a goddamn woman. But now I'm a fucking doomer. I honestly do not know, guys. I honestly do not know why, even though I'm traveling with a heterosexual male friend of mine who is sitting back in his hotel room. I, I guess I guess where my buddy is right now is is lying uh, on his bed in his hotel room uh, on the internet uh, that for all intents and purposes I might as well be fucking traveling alone. Uh, so I, I, I don't I, I honestly do not know guys. I, I don't know. Is it because I am 63 years old and not quite as attractive to heterosexual females as I used to be, or is it the fact that I'm a fucking doomer? Uh, I, I honestly do not know why it is this fucking hard to find one fucking woman on this planet. Who, uh, who, who fucking gets it. Uh, not a normie. <sighs> but who fully understands how fucked we are, yet she also understands that the only antidote to how fucked we are is to get out there and enjoy it while we still can. I, I, I am sitting here, I, I've got fucking money in my pocket. Uh, I, I, I've, you know, I, I'm not a fuck, I'm not fucking Bill Gates, okay? But, you know what I'm saying, I, I've got fucking time, I've got fucking money. And, uh, and, and, and looking at all of these happy little 
couples walking around. Uh, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I, I, I honestly do not understand uh, why I am standing here alone in the middle of fucking paradise. Uh, is, is it that? Fuck, I, I, I know. I, I have no fucking doubt that somewhere on this planet there is a fucking uh, fucking woman who would think that what Hambone Little Tail has to offer is a pretty good deal. I, okay, I'm not offering the fucking mansion. You know what I'm saying? But I think that somewhere on this fucking planet there, there is a goddamn woman uh, who might, uh, who might actually, you know, like him on, you know, he lives in this beautiful place half the year, and, and he's traveling around in paradise uh, half the year. That, that somewhere is a fucking woman on this planet. Uh, that 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 fucking would appreciate what I have to offer. Maybe this is her right now. Uh, oh my god! You know, so look at this one. Uh, you know, what, what gets me is the is the only other person I see traveling alone here tonight is this absolute fucking hottie. This probably 24 year old. Uh, hottie traveling around alone with a lost look on her face. She's probably thinking, okay, here I am. I'm, I'm 24 years old. I'm a fucking hottie. What the fuck? There's this guy walking down the sidewalk applauding her. She's, she's walking down the fucking sidewalk. She's this absolute hot 24 year old chick being applauded by uh, by the man looking at her and, and she's walking down alone with this lost look on her face going why the fuck am I this beautiful 24 year old uh, walking down the sidewalk alone in, in, in Bacalar, Mexico you, you know if, if this chick if this, if this gorgeous 24, here she comes. All right, she's coming back up. Maybe she's probably looking for her, uh, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Here she goes. She's right below me. There she goes. Well, obviously she has just lost uh, the man she came here with. <laughs> <laughs> this poor, this poor, uh, I will not call her a doomer chick, but, ah, okay, she found her man. All right. I am thrilled to say she has found her man. Oh, fuck. I know. And my guess is that she is listening to this. The, the, the woman... And, and, and you know, guys, I, I'm really not asking that much. Uh, I, that that I, I think I honestly fucking believe that my Doomer chick forever is listening to this right now, right at this minute. There, there is some chick uh, on the 50 or 60 people on this fucking planet listening to this rant. There is some fucking woman who admits, you know, like this ham bone guy, y you know, uh, he's a little bit of a fucking weirdo, okay? He's not a fucking normie. He's a little bit of a fucking weirdo. But you know, uh, he might have figured something out in 63 years that we're fucked. And the only fucking thing to do about it is get out there and enjoy it while you still can. You're listening to me, darling. You know fucking well that you are hearing every word I am saying. And you're, and you're sitting there too fucking terrified. You're too fucking terrified to say, okay, motherfucker, I'm going to give you a chance. 
Uh, I'm really not that hard to find, darling. Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com for fuck's sake. Anyway, alright. Now that I got that off my chest, let's go check out the scene at Mr. Taco! If I can get down the stairs without falling on my drunk ass, if, if I had a doomer chick forever, she would have had the second fucking margarita, and, and I would not be fucking drunk. I would have a nice, pleasant buzz right now. She and I would be up here in paradise, both with a very pleasant buzz. And so instead, I'm, I'm sitting here fucking drunk off my ass, and she's not here. Okay, let's go back to, nope, here's this little hottie again. She's still, I uh, thought she had found her man, but I guess not. Oh, fuck. Okay. There's my, got her off. No, she did find her man. He's on his little motorcycle. She's putting on her helmet and heading off into the night with her man, okay. And so the one person on the planet who wants to be here with me, Sancho Panza, is not here. Here we go. I'm gonna find me a, a Doomer chick forever, okay. Are you gonna be my Doomer chick forever? Zap. Okay, I've found my Doomer chick forever on these streets. The Bacalar Mexico. We have a picture of my Doomer chick forever. Oh yes, all she wants, you know, all my Doomer chick forever wants is a, is a back rub. She goes, oh yes, now don't get run over. Oh yes, you see, this is my Doomer chick forever. I've, I just met this beautiful woman in, uh, in Mexico. And she is already my Doomer chick forever. This dog right here could be my Doomer chick forever. We could go home and... Uh, so are you going to be my Doomer chick forever or what? Zai, are you going to be my Doomer chick forever? Zai, you know, if... if uh, if, if women just work the way that dogs do. <laughs> Look at the feet. There you are. All right. Somewhere there is actually a human who, uh... Ugh, oh, God. Okay, Amiga. There goes my Doomer chick forever. If it was that easy... Okay, here we go. We're going back to Mr. Taco! Here is the line at Mr. Taco tonight. This is a Tuesday night. Good. No, this is not Mr. Taco. This is the, uh, this is the, uh, I think this is the, uh, Volva Smoothie Slurper crowd. All right. Tuesday night seems to be happening with all of the uh, the young lovers and the. Okay, that was. Uh, that crap. All right, let's check out. Mister Taco on a Tuesday night. I'm gonna try to find one person eating alone at Mister Taco. Okay, is there one person? at Mr. Taco, who is alone tonight. Okay. Well, there is not one human being. Oh, God. There is not one human being in Mr. Taco who is solo. I'm trying to find one other fucking person in Bacalar, Mexico. This is a town for lovers. What Bacalar, Mexico is, is a town for young, beautiful people lovers. Is there one other human being 
the only contact I have had with another being in Bacalar, Mexico, the only physical contact I have had was with a dog. Okay, well here's a woman all by herself. Okay. So what is her story? Alright, there is an attractive young woman by herself walking down the street. And I'm talking about, you know, at restaurants. Uh, now you will spy the, uh, you will spy the loner. Okay, we have two loners sitting on the benches. Uh, there is, I have yet to, I'm, I'm trying to find one fucking human being having dinner with another member of their own species alone. Uh, okay, the the pair bonding. All right, the uh, new stage is coming along. I've been watching the uh, destruction and the construction. It is eight o'clock at night on a Tuesday night, and they're busy building the new stage. There must be some grand fiesta that's being prepared. So, amigo, I grand fiesta the fin de semana? Okay. There is a big party in the making. Alright, they have ripped down the old stage. Alright, so we have one loner, two loners. So I guess the idea is that people who do not, who are not in a pair bond. Alright, here is this. Okay. Here is this uh, little hottie. She appears to be here all by herself. She is eating dinner all by herself. This little hottie. She is out in the park. Okay. Okay. She is about 25 years old, this beautiful blonde in a mini skirt. She is eating her dinner by herself. Oh, fuck. So there is, uh, I'm, I'm not alone here. You can be a beautiful 25 year old blonde. Okay, we have the movie night going on. I see a total of two people with their arms around each other watching the local movie night. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Let's go to the other end of the park. Eh? There's a group of four friends. Okay. Okay. Ah, fuck. All right. I'm gonna stumble home and see if I can uh, convince my buddy to. Uh... Oh, there's my. Uh... There's my girlfriend. She's running ahead of me on all four feet that I met earlier. Ah. There is not one table in this entire place with one person. Uh, here we go. I'm going to... Uh, you know, here we go. All these happy little couples, the little... Clueless fucking morons. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Just another night in paradise for the young lovers as my girlfriend runs by on her four feet. Oh, Jesus. I need some fucking tacos. To sober up. Uh, and that is tonight's uh, uh, 
That is tonight's drunken gringo stroll through town. Bye guys. Oh, so finishing up. Here is a gorgeous young woman walking back to her hotel by herself. She's checking her cell phone for her call from her boyfriend. Bye guys. Oh, Jesus. We're so fucked. <laughs>